Hello. I have been fascinated by one idea. It's really interesting and I want to share it with you today and get some feedback and help from you. Yes, that involves some research and yes, this is your homework. Okay, the idea is very simple. Life is a fractal. Okay. Now we have a day. We wake up in the morning with all the plans, what we want to accomplish today. And during the day, we encounter some obstacles, temptations, distractions. We don't accomplish what we want to accomplish, possibly, in the usual scenario. And in the evening, we're tired, we're, we have less energy, and we basically die, so to say. We go to sleep, we switch off our consciousness, right? And it can be compared to our life when we're young, when we're just born, we have, we have all these hopes of what we're going to do in life and we see ourselves having a perfect job and a perfect family and a perfect big house with, the, with all, all the plans and all the things that you, are want, that you want to accomplish in life with no obstacles. And then when we age, there is this and there is that and there's pain and there's distractions and the same. Same happens in on a bigger scale, right? And when we're old, we have less energy and we die. So it's very much the same. Now, the question is, and I cannot answer this question without your help, what is a natural cycle and what is not? Now we have, what, a decade, a year, a month, a week, a day, an hour, right? A minute, a second. Let's not go any further. With a year, we can clearly see that it is a cycle indeed. If you look at the trees, okay. Although in Thailand it's different again, so that's questionable. But yes, okay, a year, let's take a year. Then we go down, we get a month. Yes, you look at the moon, the full moon. 30 days later, another full moon. Okay, moon is the natural cycle. A week. How did people come up with a week? Where do you see a week in nature? If you don't have a calendar, if you don't, if you're isolated on an island, how can you see a week? Yes, you can count days, but otherwise, why would a week be there? Where did this week come from? With the day, of course, it's very clear, the sun rises, the sun sets. Now, with an hour, why do we divide the day in 24 hours? Where did this hour come from? And the same with the second, why is an hour divided into 60 seconds? Well, this might be very simple questions, but I just, I want you to answer them for me. And, 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 there will be more. Say with the Thai time, when I was learning to tell time in Thai, I was very confused because the day is divided into sections. Like say it's 10 a.m. now, you can say it's 4 in the morning. And at 10 p.m. you can say it's 4 in the evening. And at 4 p.m. you can say it's 4 in the afternoon. And at 4 a.m. it's 4 a.m. So you can have 4 o'clock 4 times a day, more or less. You can also say, nowadays, they, they just say like 17 hours and 33 seconds, like military time, sort of, that's what they use. But in spoken language, people would still, you, uh, would still say to you that, I'll see you at 2 in the morning. And it's like, what? And, ah, okay, so 2 in the morning is what is 8 a.m. But they can also say, I'll see you at 8 in the morning, so they use both systems. <laughs> Very, very confusing. So we have the morning and the afternoon and then the evening and then the night and then and then the later night. Whoa! So 7 p.m. is 1 in the evening. Confusing? Yes, but it's fun, fun, fun. So the day is divided differently. So is an hour um, something that people came up with? Or is it something that we can see in nature? And why 24 hours? I'm trying to work out the structure of the fractal and why when 
this theory, this idea, is it, is it totally useless or can we apply it in real life? I think we can apply it in real life because when we look overall at our life, this long journey, and we probably imagine it, the length of the journey depending on our relatives and on their expectancy, general expectancy, life expectancy in the country and our friends and so on. Say, say a hundred years or eighty years or sixty years or hundred twenty years, whatever you like to think about your life. And we see ourselves, but we really can't plan for the future. We can't see the future because it's far away. Yes, I'll do my best today and whatever is there is Faith it depends on many, many different circumstances. But if you work with smaller parts of the fractal, you have to know precisely what they are. And they're not an hour and it's not a minute. It can be a day, but even a day is a little bit hard to work on. I'm thinking to even like divide it into smaller parts. That's why I need your help. I need to know exactly what is the length of that smaller part to work on the smaller part of the fractal. I think you can gradually build up to the day and to make it an ideal mini life. <laughs> Are you still with me? Did I lose you? Should I talk about boots and stockings instead? <laughs> okay, boots and stockings. Step back from the idea. Just a minute, I want to say something. If we do not connect on the other two levels, if the only thing that we have in common is our fetishes and mistress-slave dynamic, it won't last. You'll get bored, I'll get bored, and it'll be done. So we have to talk about things that are outside of the dynamic as well. Right? So we're connecting on a spiritual level now. We're discussing this idea. Discussing this idea and how you feel about it. Just what, I'm not asking you to go Google it, although that might help as well with some information. But I want you to search in here, to Google it in your vault, to Google it in your heart, and to tell me what is your intuition telling you. Is an hour really a natural period of time, like a day or a month? Or is it artificial? And what is the natural um, smaller fractal from, from the day? What is the next one down? This is the question. Okay, you have the question. If you have time to think, please um, write on the forum, which is goddesslina at free, oh no, goddesslina.freeforums.org. I will read about it, and I think other people need to read about it too, so that we don't overlap the information. Okay, have a good day. Smaller part of your larger, larger life. Have your good mini life today. Hmm, good mini life. I like it. The mini life of you starts started this morning, ended this evening. Hmm, make sure you have a good mini life because a mini life is a smaller version of your larger life. Who knows what's next? How exciting. Let's work out this ratio. Sure, it's been done before, but I haven't heard about it. Let's do it on our own. Let's use our intuition. Let's use our inside feelings. We must know. We must know. The information is inside us, I'm sure. How exciting.